Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Highest Common Factor Part 2. This lesson is a continuation of the previous video. More examples will aim to help with further understanding. Example 1. Find the factors of 15 and 27. Then find the highest common factor of these two numbers. So the factors of 15 are those four numbers. The factors of 27 are those four numbers. The highest number which appears in both lists is 3. So that is the highest common factor. Example 2. Find the factors of 8, 12, 16 and 20. What is the highest common factor of these four numbers? So the factors of 8 are these numbers. Factors of 12. The factors of 16. And the factors of 20. The highest number which appears in all four lists is 4. So that is the highest common factor. Example 3. Find the highest common factor of 28, 42 and 70. Factors of 28. Factors of 42. And the factors of 70. Now we notice here that we have a 7 there. And there. And there. So that's the highest number that appears in the three lists, so that's the highest common factor. And as in the previous video, the highest common factor can be used in real life to solve everyday problems. And here is a neat little example. A coffee table is in the shape of a rectangle and is 90 centimetres long and 27 centimetres wide. It is to be covered with square tiles that fit perfectly. All tiles are the same size. The tiles are placed against each other so that there is no gap in between them. What is the largest possible size of each square tile? So we have 90 and 27. They're the measurements of the table. So the factors of 90 are all these numbers. The factors of 27 are all these numbers here. And you'll notice that 9 there and 9 there. See those two numbers? That is the highest number which appears in both lists. So the highest common factor is 9. So what does that actually mean? Each square tile must have sides of 9 centimetres. So that's the largest possible size. Example 5. A teacher has three groups of different prizes that he wants to give to his best behaved pupils. He has 18 pens, 24 rulers and 36 erasers. He wants each pupil to receive the same number of prizes from each group. What is the largest number of students who can receive prizes and how many prizes will they receive from each group? He wants to give all the prizes away. So the three numbers are 18, 24 and 36, representing pens, rulers and erasers respectively. These are the factors of those three numbers. Now have a notice here, there, there and there. So 6 is the highest number that appears in all three groups. So the highest common factor is 6. What does that actually mean? This means that the largest number of students who can receive prizes is 6. So if there are 18 pens, so each student can receive 3 pens. That's 18 divided by 6. There are 24 rulers. So each student can receive four rulers, 24 divided by 6. There are 36 erasers, so each student can receive six erasers, which is 36 divided by 6. 
So that's a very good real world application of the highest common factor.